In this Python tutorial, we're going to discuss some performance benchmarks between the Python C-Types library and the standard Python code. The C-Types library is used to interface between Python and C or C++. It allows us to call functions from C and C++ libraries, which in theory should make our code run much faster. Because everyone knows that C and C++ are much faster than Python, even for simple operations, right? But is this really the case? Is the C-Types library really going to give us that massive performance boost? Let's see. I have four cases, four examples in today's tutorial that we're going to discuss. These are structured a bit differently. Each one of them has a slightly different type of problem, and this will help us judge a variety of scenarios. We'll see how Python and C-Types really perform against each other in different scenarios. All right, we'll have the C code written out, then we'll have the same thing written out in Python. We're going to run these two codes and then we'll see the result. All right, then I'm going to explain it and we'll see why we got that specific result. Okay, now let's get started. Here I have some code in Python. Okay, here's our test case number one. We have the Fibonacci series. Okay, and here's it in C. I already have all of the shared files compiled, the shared libraries, okay? So this is just gonna be a simple run. Okay, here's our result. Our first result, Python versus C types. This is our benchmarking code using the time library, okay? Using the perf counter function, which is pretty good for precision based things. Okay, so here's the time taken. C types took 0 0.01 seconds, roughly and Python took 0 0.5. That's a roughly 50 times performance boost. Okay, that's pretty good. And this is because recursion is being used here and this is some place where Python really doesn't do very well against C types from my observation. Because interestingly, if you take a look at test case number two over here, where I have the same thing, the Fibonacci series, but this time we're switching to a more iteration based approach over here. Okay, and here's the same thing in C. And actually, I'm not sure whether this had any, any effect or not. I was actually trying to, um, well, you'll see in a minute, but this is a different approach, okay, a different way of calculating the Fibonacci series, a more optimized way. And interestingly, if you run this code, you'll notice here that it's actually Python who was able to calculate this faster, okay? But this is only at lower Fibonacci values, okay? If you, for example, increase this to like a 100 or let's go up to 200, then you'll notice that Python is actually slower now. C types took 7.23 to the power 10, you know, my 10 to the power 10 minus five. And uh, Python took 9.8 multiplied by 10 to the power minus five. All right, so Python is clearly slower, and if we increase this number, the difference is only gonna increase. C types is clearly faster at higher numbers. This is also because C types has some basic overhead, some basic overhead in which, you know, you actually call the function from a separate library and all that conversion stuff that goes on in the middle. It's actually not as fast as pure C or C++ code, and this makes it pretty obvious because pure C and C++ would be much faster than Python in pretty much every scenario, okay? So that's something to keep in mind. So what's the conclusion from this? Maybe do not use C types for basic operations, for small operations, only use C types in, you know, more expensive operations. So let's take a look at code number three. Here we have the quick sort, quick sort code. All right, we're gonna sort an array of numbers. I already have the code written out for that. Okay, we're basically uh, sorting a hundred numbers from zero to 1000. And here's the same code in C++. Okay, cool. Now let's run it. And okay, it's a hundred numbers, right? We're gonna try a hundred first. And if I run this, we can see that Python took twice as long as C, as C types. Okay, that's good. If I lower this down to like 10, I'm pretty sure Python will be faster. Whoops, oh. Change that to nine, change that to nine, and run that code. 
And no, C types is still faster, but uh, the difference isn't that much anymore. Okay, so let's increase this to like a thousand and let's see what happens. Okay, a thousand. A thousand numbers, 999. And the difference just became a lot more. Like, well, what is that? 20 times more? That's pretty great, right? So clearly, this is another area where C types really outshines Python. Heavy operations like sorting. So if you have a lot of algorithms running, I have a lot of heavy uh, algorithms like graph-based algorithms, uh, sh shortest distance calculations like Distras or Floyd, that kind of stuff. It, it's all pretty good if you use C types for that kind of stuff. Okay, and now here's our last example, which is actually pretty simple. It's just calculating the sum. There's just something I kind of want to point out to you here, and that is that Python uses dynamic typing, so it's actually pretty slow when it comes to for loops. That's also one reason why when you keep increasing the numbers over here, lower that down to 200 first, and let's run this code. And you'll notice that C types actually go slower than Python because this is a pretty simple operation, right? So Python kind of outshines C types because C types has that overhead, right? But if we increase the, num the numbers over here, and because Python is actually pretty slow in for loops, the reason being that it uses dynamic typing, uh, so it kind of needs to, you know, I can't remember the exact term for it, but it needs to kind of recheck for the type in every iteration of the for loop. Whereas in C and C++, the type is already known, so you don't need to actually perform that check, which actually saves a lot of time. Okay, so if I run this code now at 20,000, 20,000 uh, iterations, you'll notice that, again, as expected, C types is like 10 times faster, and that difference is only going to increase the more iterations you do, okay? Because, again, Python's, Python's weakness is literally for loops, okay? So this is four examples I showed you here today. Clearly, C types is faster than Python, but I will point out, as impressive as these gains are, they are not as good as some other libraries, that I could recommend if you're looking for a performance. Because C types' primary goal was actually to, uh, how, how do I put this? It's actually meant to be an API that basically allows you to call C and C functions. Its main purpose is compatibility, not performance. Performance is a side benefit. Okay, if you're looking for pure performance, I could actually show you something, a library that can speed up your code by a thousand times or even three thousand i did a test and a simple test just like the ones you see here and i got a thousand sorry a three thousand times speed bonus and that library is cyton i'll make a few videos on that soon i'll also leave a link to it in the in the description below any videos i have a website link on it uh tutorial that i made with all these performance benchmarks for cyton i'll include that over there and there are a few other great libraries like cffi uh, if you're looking for pure performance gains. So overall, the conclusion here today was that C types is undoubtedly faster than Python in most scenarios, but it's not as fast as some other libraries that you'll see. Okay, so yeah. See you guys in a later video. Hopefully, I'll get to see you one in maybe my Cython series, which I'm planning. All right, bye then.